We're here at Barnhill Orchards in Low Note County. We're learning about farm to table agriculture. From the farm where the strawberries are grown here at Barnhill Orchards, all the way to the table at Trio's restaurant. Follow us along. Well, what makes uh, your strawberries stand out? From the I rest? believe it's that organic matter. The, yep. better, the better you take care of the ground, the better product you're gonna get off that ground. Mm -hmm. Most people don't realize that these are actually planted in the fall. We get yeah. them in the, you know, the middle of October and we plant them. Uh -huh. You know, it's getting getting late mm -hmm. in the year. You know, I mean, we're starting to get into cool days. An object is to grow the plant up to, and it'll grow, you know, maybe five or six leaves, and then, and then it gets too cold, and they go dormant again, and, and they kind of sit there and, and wait till spring. All right, so um, how long does a plant produce fruit? Well, here in Arkansas, we have, it, it, it depends on the weather. Yeah, Okay. <laughs> Arkansas weather is uh... a... <laughs> California will plant and pick for eight months. Right, right. But, you know, the, the part between freezing and 80 degrees isn't very big window, and it's usually May. Mm -hmm. And because May is traditional strawberry season, Otherwise, it gets too hot and the berry's developing too fast and it's real soft because mm -hmm. the, the, the night time, the, it's the night temperature that, that, that makes a berry. But anyway, uh, the, the secret to having a good, good taste of strawberry is let it get right before you pick it. Okay. You know, the, the stuff in California, they're picking ones that are, you know, just barely turning red and by the time they get here, they're, they're fully red, but they're still... But they're not as, would you say, like, you're not getting as much flavor or... Well, I'd say no. I mean, as soon as you pick a strawberry, it's, it, you know, it, it's starting to try to decompose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's going, you know, it, it's not being fed anymore. Right. And uh, if you let it get to the peak of ripeness and then pick it and then, you know, I'm not trying to ship these anywhere. I'm, I'm, I'm picking today and selling today. And I don't have to hold them or anything, so I can let them stay here till they're the best they're ever going to get. I mean, I, I want every customer to have the best strawberry I ever put in my mouth. I wanted to know more about your relationship with the local restaurants, um, Trios, for instance. What's the importance been like of that for you, to you? Well, we've been working with Trios probably for about, I don't know, I think my dad started the relationship probably about 20, 20 or 30 years ago, he'll yeah. tell you. And he did. He yeah. said 1986. 1986. Yeah. He remember. He loves Cappy. <laughs> yeah. And um, I, I do. I've been doing deliveries out there. I would guess for about the last 10 years. Yeah. And do y'all have y'all have really uh, a lot of relationships with restaurants in the area? Yeah. Some of the restaurants that we do, we'll do uh, Root Cafe. We do all the Yellow Rocket restaurants right. like Lost 40 and the Big Orange, Big Orange yeah. and all those ones. And um, Got several other ones, of course. We do Cappy and several yeah. other restaurants. Well, the relationship for uh, with restaurants for farmers is it's very important. They 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 give us the stability that we need to always know we can have a certain set products that we're going to be able to bring in and sell to them each week. So that that kind of tells us how we're going to plant, and it kind of gives us that steady source of income. So they are very very important to what we do. We're here with Cappy Peck, owner of Trios in Little Rock. Um, Cappy, thank you for having us. Uh, we're here today to talk about your strawberry shortcake, but more importantly, your relationship with local farmers. How, how important that is to your business? It, it's vitally important. We built our reputation on the whole farm to table concept before it was the cool thing. I mean, back in the 80s, and, and I grew up in the hotel business, and my favorite childhood memories were going with my grandfather and father to the curb market in North Little Rock. I mean, this was in the 50s, I'm old. And seeing what the local farmers, learning how to pick the perfect melon, the greens, the peas, the tomatoes. So this is just ingrained in me. So when we opened Trios in 86, it was important for me to connect with local farmers to support them and uh, help the economy. and. Bottom line is everything tastes better if it's grown right here in our native soil. That's right. So um, your relationship with kind of your berry farmers, because you, you get it from multiple farms, we correct? We do. We do. We started this year uh, with Barnhill Orchards. I buy a lot from them. They grow the Chandler berry, which is one of my very favorites. 
Uh, and then we, uh, I think it's been almost two weeks since we started strawberry shortcake season, and we've already purchased over a thousand pounds of local mm -hmm. berries. Uh, <laughs> currently, we just saw a couple hundred pounds roll in from Cadron Crest Orchards in Guy, Arkansas. Uh, we bought uh, 3,300 pounds from them last year, and so we're they are important to us, and we are important to them. It, it, it's all connected, and nothing as good as a local berry. Well, maybe the local tomato. Okay. They're, 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 they're close. <laughs> they're very close. Well, awesome. Well, I would love to see this strawberry shortcake and maybe you can run through with us in the kitchen uh, some more about it and maybe I can have a bite. Well, Cabby, that strawberry shortcake looks amazing. <laughs> How long have you been making this strawberry shortcake here? We've been making strawberry shortcake here for about 34 years. We opened in 1986, and this has been a signature dessert from day one with wow. local berries. Well, do you mind showing me how you maybe assemble one? Sure. This, this is southern shortcake, so it's not a sponge cake or lady fingers or a biscuit. It's short because short refers to the uh, amount of fat compared to flour. So this is pretty crumbly, oh, yeah. kind of equal parts of uh, butter and flour and ice cold water. And then the star, of course, we just cap, wash, and slice the local berries and let them sit for just a few minutes so they get nice and juicy. We layer that on the shortbread platform and then we top it with a little bit of whipped cream that's slightly sweetened. And then we finish it off with a little more juice and it's a plate of local heaven. And oh, we, I cannot tell you how popular this is. It's been so busy the last two weeks because we just put the shortcake on and people are lining up in droves <laughs> for the Arkansas Strawberry Shortcake. I'm gonna make you try it. Oh, please make me I, try it. Hey y'all, I need a spoon, stat. <laughs> okay. Try that. And you know, we've got some options if people are gluten-free. We've got somebody that makes a gluten-free uh, platform for us. Get some juice. Okay. You gotta get a bite of everything. How good is that? So good. So good. If you can, come out to Trio's, get a strawberry shortcake. Oh, check this out. Yeah. Look what just walked in the door. Another 250 pounds of strawberries from Cadron Crest Orchards. I swear we didn't time that up. No. <laughs> it's just what happened. But yeah, if you can, come to Trio's, get a strawberry shortcake, check out all of our local farmers and the berries. Thank you so much for having us, Cappy. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. Um, and we'll see you all on the next Farm to Table.